Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to look at the difference of two cubes and we're going to see why a cubed minus b cubed equals quantity a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. So to do that we just need to focus first on this a cubed minus b cubed stuff. So we're going to start with this and uh, since of course we have a lot more stuff than that uh, we need to add something but without changing the value of this expression. So we're going to add zero to this and we're going to keep a cubed and b cubed on opposite sides uh, and you'll see why in a moment and this is going to have to do with factoring by grouping. So zero is just anything and specifically in this case subtracted by itself. So if I add something I've, and I subtract the same thing away from it I'll still get the same zero that we have both in red and in purple here. But what do I change those to? Well, if I change them this way, where I have an a squared b minus a, a squared b, so again, that's the zero in the red. In the purple, I have zero as well, but I've taken a b squared and subtracted it from itself. So both of those would give us zero. Now, if I rearrange these in a very specific way, it's going to help us to factor these by grouping specifically three terms at a time. So I've taken all of my positives and combined them and all my minus or sub subtractions or negative uh, terms and combined them or put them on separate sides, so three at a time. Now on this first half, on these first three, if I factor out an A, then it will give me a new expression uh, which specifically would be A squared plus a, B, plus just B squared. Now if I factor out a B from these last three terms, specifically a negative B to change all these to positives, then we can see we've got these two polynomials here which are the same. Meaning that by grouping these I can factor these out and then I would have that A minus B in its own set of parentheses. And we can see that in blue these two I've changed into green and there we go we got uh, a minus b quantity times this other quantity a squared plus a b plus b squared and that's what we were going for in the first place uh, so this is how it's proven uh, this is how it's derived however you want to say it but uh, that solves the problem right there why a cubed minus b cubed equals all of this other stuff there so I'll show you the proof again. There you go.